Well, ladies and gentlemen, I got the a shelter set up. I got the hammock. And the shelter, it's a little half fast, but it will keep me dry. I, I, I used to like to see that wrinkles in there. I used to like to keep that straight. When you drop a pin on it, bounce off. I was just in a hurry to set it up today. But it keep me dry. But that will keep me dry tonight. It puts rain. The rain's coming from this way. Along the wind shift, I stay dry. It's not, I probably still stay dry because look underneath all that room space underneath there. I got to clear this out to make it where I can, me and Yoshi can sleep on. I might not use a hammock because I just noticed that tree right there where I got the hammock and the tarp hanging on. It's good for the tarp but not the hammock because it's a dead tree. You don't want to hang your hammock and sleep on a dead tree. Or you're going to have problems with my snap on you. I realized that after I set everything up. I might just use it to store my gear in for the night. My food and stuff. Keep it off the ground and keep the insects from getting it. <laughs> now, after this, get the gear in. Get the spot clean down here. Get the ground unsuitable to sleep on. I'm going to find a spot for a fire. I like to have a fire in front of the shelter. I might put it right there. Build a rock thing right there. Right here, build a rock where a, the fire could tank because it's going downhill. As long as you got a rock and hold it up, it won't I'll go nowhere. Such a beautiful place. <laughs> Well, this is my first time setting up a hammock on video. The last time I had a hammock before I started my YouTube uh, channel. And the last the video was when I was living outdoors. I made short uh, clips. I only had this tarp in the A-frame. I mean, lean to, my bad. Not, yeah, A-frame. Sorry. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> Rope, I just got to keep it in mind. Don't trip over that son of a gun. Oh, you should come back through this way where I came in. Yeah, I stay dry tonight. It ain't perfect tight like I want it, but I don't care. It keep me dry. The back side. Oh shit! Tripping over logs. All right. Go over and sit with Yoshi. Chill with Yoshi. Grab the saw, had to cut some trees and make the shelter work. Gotta get all this in the camp. In the tent. Not the tent, but the tarp. I'm uh, the reason I say tent. I recently got this tarp about four or five months ago. I'm, I'm still used to having a, a tent. Get up, Yoshi. Move. <laughs> Let me sit down. <laughs> My buddy's happy. We're living good now. Yes, he's happy. I've been working, not paying attention to him. There it is from the back. From far distance, you won't be able to see it that well because it's coyote brown. It's a natural earth tone. It matches with the ground right here. Up close, you can see it. I try not to tear some of the trees that much as possible, so that the ones that's in the way is going to rip holes in my tarp when the wind blows. I try to keep it natural the way it is to blend in. I'll get all the fire we're gonna be cutting tonight in a little bit. <laughs> Yoshi's <she's> scratching. <laughs> you need some more water? <laughs> he been drinking water. Ooh, I just farted. <laughs> Part of the woods. <laughs> I'm goofy. Such a beautiful place. Got my gear, got the sleeping bag out. I gotta get the ground tarp out of it. Only thing I'm gonna stick out is the ground tarp, cause the ground tarp is blue. <laughs> Look like I might have to tighten that up a little bit. I don't know yet. It's flopping back and forth. I might have to tighten the other end over there. It's 4:14, 4:30. I finish the rest of the shelter, then I collect firewood.
I'm getting hungry. I got that Roman noodle still, and I eat that tonight right here. I'm about, about ready to log off for this in a minute. Camping in the woods. Yeah, the city frown on people camping on public land. This is public land. I finally, when I came up, I crossed past the private property part. And I know this is pro uh, public land because I looked at the property map. There's a, a app called Land Glide. I'm paying for. It gives you uh, seven days free and allow. It tells you the people, um, the property, who owns it, where where they currently live, and stuff like that, and their phone number, where you can get a hold of them. How many, how long how long they had it in their name, and it shows you their property line. And ain't no excuse for trespassing. There's apps out there now, but I trespass today. I'm guilty as charged. Uh, when I went through to get up here, they get over it. And they didn't have no uh, signs that make it legal. They didn't have no trespassing sign, no fence. Yo, she's eating. He's hungry. I'm about ready to fill him some water up. We went through a ball of water, me and him, already. I got three, I think, two more in there, or three more bottles, and I got two uh, gallons of water over there. I have to haul up, because there ain't no water source up here. No creeks, no pond up here. You have to haul your liquids up here. You know, she's dog food in a bag and some eggs I bought last night. I probably eat me another egg. I'm calling all the garbage out, like I always do. But the only thing I'm gonna leave anything biodegradable, like food, I'm just gonna leave over in the woods, let the animals eat it, or let the mother nature break it down. Anything biodegradable, like eggshells, leftover food, I'm just gonna throw on the ground. The uh, plastic like this, the cans, anything I brought in, other than the, and all the plastic bottles, anything I bring out, haul out, except for. Excess food. I'm not gonna call. I'm not gonna throw it on the ground. I don't think you're supposed to do it on natural forests and, and state forests and state parks and stuff. Uh, leave food sitting around to feed the animal because that tracks the animals to uh, the population and they and they didn't want to come and try to get food. Plus, the dangerous ones like bears, bobcats, wolves, coyotes. They want to keep all them the Krugers. And they want to keep all them away from campground stuff. They t they tell you not to leave food around. Haul it out with you. Or burn it off when you got a campfire. That's what you do with these two cans. After you get done eating them, and burn it in, in a fire, burn all the food out where the animal can't smell it. <laughs> you ate some of your food, buddy. I throw that baby up. He's tearing it up. <laughs> I love that shelter. That's the best tarp I ever had. My first tarp I had was a blue of, out of box out of hardware store you could buy and make a shelter out of. It's stand out. I ordered this off of the internet, Wilderness Outfitters. You get this tarp from uh, the actual craters of it, DD Hammock. That's what that uh, tarp is, the DD Hammock tarp. They make hammocks, tarps, sleeping bags, a lot more uh, gear. I believe the hammock, if I'm not mistaken, Dave Canterbury from the Wilderness Outfitters, the owned uh, uh, survival school and stuff, he designed that uh, hammock I hung up underneath the tarp. I think he designed it. What are you doing, Yoshi? <laughs> He's trying to get in the shot. He's like, Come on, Bubba. Stay down. Stay down. All right, YouTube. Sign it off. See you on the internet.